hello everyone and welcome to free for folks and in this video i have brought you a free drawing app known as adobe fresco where i will be showing you the basics about how to use this app so let's move ahead now to get this app for windows user you can search microsoft store from the start and from microsoft store you can get this app or else from your browser you can visit microsoft store and get it from there for mac users you can directly visit their official website to get this app once the app is successfully installed open and it will start like this And this is how the home page will look like now starting with app settings in general you can set toolbar to left or right then the app appearance you can change to dark when using at night and once you complete your project these are the settings like in which format you need the file to be exported in then under time lapse settings the quality and dimensions you can set accordingly once everything is set let's start by selecting the document size first option will help you to select custom size where you can change unit to inches centimeters and millimeters then background type then if you click on digital you will find multiple screen sizes that supports up to 8k now let me select my default screen size to get started so here we are now on the left side of the app you will find all the required tools to start your paint with now starting with tool number one which says pixel brushes and to view all those brushes click on that small arrow facing downside and you will find all these different types of brushes then thing where you will see this star icon are paid features now for example let me select this hard round brush then again click on arrow icon and from here you can change the color of the brush then the size of the brush then from here you can adjust the opacity of the selected color then under brush settings you will find this option to adjust the hardness spacing angle mode blend mode etc etc now let me try to draw something to show you then coming to live brushes you will find this watercolor brushes and oil color brushes Now let's try something with this brush. Now if you try vector brushes and try to draw something, you will find the drawn object doesn't pixelate from the boundaries and that's the best part of this brush and the next tool which almost everyone knows the eraser and from here you can change the size flow smoothing and the settings 
the next tools much and it does like this and i really don't know where to use this tool the next tool from where you can transform the layers the way you like this queue will do like this similar type with distort and perspective then under liquify you will find this settings let's start with wrap and below you will find the options to change settings and this way all these tools work now coming to next tool lasso selection where you can remove a certain part by drawing the outlines for example say you don't need this certain part draw a line like this where it meets the other point and after that click on erase and it will remove that part then the magic wand where it will select the entire thing from the selected layer then paint selection will work like this draw outline as you need in the layer once completed select fill tool below that then select the appropriate color which you want to fill in and bring your cursor on the drawn image left click and it will automatically get filled same goes with other shapes too then these are some shapes which you can add if you need for example select the shape to add in the layer once you see the shape here from these corners you can make size changes in case if you would like to change the positions then below click on select option then select transform and you can move like this wherever the place you need then if you want to fill in the color then again as earlier shown click on fill select the color and click between the shape and that's it moving forward to next tool from where you can add text to your drawing once you select that tool click once randomly anywhere on your painting and on the right side one bar will pop up to make changes in your added text now to change the name you can double click on the text and you will be able to do it After that you can click on this layered properties to make changes to your text. From here you can adjust the opacity. Then from here you can change the font and its style. Then the size of the text. Also you can adjust the gap between the letters, the large and small caps. Then the next tool eyedropper, basically if you bring eyedropper to any of the color shown in the drawing, it will automatically change the brush colors to the chosen color. Then from here you can add images to your drawing.
then under appearances you can adjust the brightness and the colors then from here you can add a new layer if you need then from settings you can flip and rotate your drawing like this and coming to final option from where you can save your file these are some options you will find which you can go for or else to save on your PC select publish and export then export as select the format of the file and hit export and it will be saved on your PC so that's all in this video for today and I hope you like the video thanks for watching